hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can implement this custom layout in our drawer so as you can see over here we have different navigation option over here and we have added some icons to those menus and we have some information related to user we have a toggle button and we have the sign out menu at the bottom of the drawer right so we can go to different screens from here and as you can see that this is a basic screen right but if we go to here then we have the material bottom tab navigator right so we can access the drawer from any screen and this is our another material bottom tab screen and from here we can open the drawer and move between different screens so this is the tutorial which i'm going to show you and let me tell you one more thing before proceeding this tutorial is a part of a tutorial series in which i'm showing you different parts of the react navigation and over here i have already shown you how we can implement the stack navigator how we can implement the material bottom tab navigator and how we can add the drawer navigator in our project and we are combining all those navigator in one project so if you haven't seen those tutorials yet i would highly recommend first go ahead and see those tutorials then come here and see this tutorial it will be helpful to you to understand the project structure and all i will link the playlist in the description below and you can also access this tutorial series from the i button at the top right hand side corner and today in this tutorial i'm going to show you how we can customize our drawer to have a professional look and we will combine this navigation with our existing navigators if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so without wasting any more time let's get started with the tutorial So this is our project and over here we can see that this is our basic drawn navigator and over here we have the material bottom tab navigator right so this is our app.js and over here our drawn navigator to create custom drawer first i am going to create a new file called drawn content.js and over here first i am going to import react then few things from react native and after that i will import few things from react navigation drawer and i will import drawer content scroll view and drawer item and finally i will export our drawer content and over here we will accept some props and here we will return view and text and now over here i will import that so within this drawer navigator i will pass drawer content and over here i will pass the props and it will be our drawer content and to the drawer content we will pass our props now after saving it we can see that there is our text right so this view is rendering over here you can see that this is a test now we need to configure this view to get our desired layout so for that first i am going to install react native paper which is a ui library and i have already installed that library if you visit this package.json then you can see that react native paper has been installed already so i will get some apis from react native paper it will be easier to design my layout so we will use these apis from react native paper and i will not use the text from react native i will use the text from react native paper and i need to use some styles over here so i have already prepared our style so i'm just copy pasting those styles over here so that this tutorial doesn't get lengthy okay so i have pasted the styles over here so you can see i have created some styling for our contents which i'm going to use in our layout so you can look into these styles 
i'm just showing you the styles you can pause the screen and take the note of this and also i will upload this project in a github repo and i will link that to the description below now let me create the actual design over here so for the view we will style flex one and then we will use drawer content scroll view and in this drawer content scroll view we will pass our props and then within this drawer content i will create another view and as of now i'm providing a text over here and after this drawer content scroll view we will create another drawer section and for this drawer section style i will use styles bottom drawer section so this style i will use and over here i will use drawer item for this i will use the label sign out and i will use the icon and to use the icon i need to import the icon from react native vector icons and i will get material community icons so for icon i will pass the color and size and over here the icon name will be exit to app color of it will be color size of it will be the size i pass here and for on press currently it will do nothing so i have saved it now you can see that sign out button has been added at the bottom of the drawer and this is our main contents right and we can scroll it so the main content will be located over here so now let me add layouts for our main content so the style of this view will be styles dot drawer content and over here first we will add the view for user info so it will be user info section and within this user info we will have our user image user's full name and username and the follower information so first we will create those things so for that i will create another view and within this view we will pass this avatar and for the avatar image i will use our image from the internet so for the image source i will use uri and i will paste the uri over here okay so i have added the uri and for the size of it i will provide size 50 so now you can see over here it is the profile image of our user and then beside that i will provide the user's full name and the user id so now here we need to wrap this in another view and in this view i will use the title and the title will be our user's full name i am using my details over here and for the user id i will use the caption so this is how it's looking right now i will provide the styles of these things so style will be title and for the user id it will be caption and for the view we need to provide some style as well to position this beside this user profile image right so first we need to provide some styling for this wrapper view then we will add some style for this view so first i need to provide the style for this wrapper view and for the flex direction it will be row and margin top i will provide 15 now for this view i will provide some margin to this left and flex direction of it will be column which is default now beneath this section this information we will provide another information related to the user which is the followers and following detail so for that we will create another view within this user info section but after this complete section so it will be outside of this total section but it will be within this user info section 
right so over here i will create another view and for this view i will use the style styles dot row and over here we will provide information related to following and followers so here it will be another view and within the view we will provide paragraph within paragraph we will provide a number and after that we will provide a caption so it is the following and similarly for follower i will create another number and now we need to style this so it will be styles dot section and for the paragraph style we will use two styles so it will be style paragraph and styles caption and for the caption we will use style caption so now you can see it is looking perfect we will copy this as well for followers so our user info section have been completed now after this user info section we will create our drawer items so here our main drawer navigation menus will stay so it will be drawer section and for its style we will use drawer section and within this drawer section we will provide our drawer items as we have created over here so i'm just copying this item and i have pasted it here it is home and for the home icon i will use home outline it's looking good now i will copy paste this several times for our different menus quickly so we have created five different navigation items and then after this navigation item i will create a switch button beneath these menus so for that i will create another drawer section and for its title i will provide preferences and i will wrap this within touchable ripple and for its text i will provide dark theme and here we will use a switch so this is our switch and this is the text of dark theme let me quickly add some styles over here so now you can see it's looking perfect right now but i will add some code to make this switch toggle so now to have the ability to toggle this switch we need to add some things over here so for this on press i will add toggle theme and for the switch value i will provide a value over here and i will wrap this switch within a view and pointer events for this view will be none now we need to create this toggle theme function so first i am creating is dark theme state and by default it will be false and for the toggle theme function we will set this to not is dark theme so whatever the dark theme is set to it will be changed to a different state so currently it is false after toggle theme it will be true and if it is true then it will be false so for the value we can use is dark theme now we can see that our switch is working properly right so that's how we have designed the layout now we need to make sure that this button actually does something it helps our user to navigate to different section of our app right now we have home profile bookmark settings support so over here we can see in our material bottom tab we can see we have home and profile already present in our bottom tab navigator but we don't have the setting and other section setting support bookmarks right so for those i have already created 
this basic screens for this navigations right i have created basic screen for bookmark screen settings and support right so there is nothing fancy these screens are outside of our stack navigator and tab navigator so we will be navigate to those screens from this menu so now let me provide navigation for the profile first over here so it will be props navigation navigate and it will be profile okay so now after clicking on profile we are in the profile screen and this profile navigation is registered on our main navigator so over here we can see that our profile screen has been registered in our tab screen right now let me add this for our other screens so here it will be home so now after clicking home we are not going to the home but we have provided the home navigation over here and we have home registered as our main tab screen so this is the main reason we are not navigating to home because our main tab screen is registered as home here and within main tab screen we have also used home for home tab but in the drawer it is registered as main tab screen so for this we need to change this to other name and it doesn't matter because whenever we are providing any kind of name over here at the first screen it will be our initial route for the navigator okay so after saving it we can still see our main home screen but now as i am using this home it will work over here let me show you now i'm clicking on profile so we are in the profile tab and now if i open the drawer and click on home then i'm in the home tab because in main tab screen this home has been registered as a tab screen okay so we are navigating to that tab from here and now i can uncomment this and over here we will go to our other screens which are not part of our tab screen settings bookmark support so over here it will be support screen for support so for the support i can use this support screen so i'm now on the support screen and similarly i will add setting screen and i need to import that setting screen over here and similarly for our bookmark screen and over here i need to add the screens for the respective drawer item so i have added those now if i go to our bookmark screen then we are on the bookmark we are in the profile we are in the home so our navigation is working perfect over here so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button and let me know by commenting down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and share this video with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and i will see you in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye